almost no internal financial controls. We have live team coverage. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell is in Bell with the details of the audit. And we begin with Sid Garcia live in downtown L.A. where the arrested officials were in court today. Sid. Mark, they are accused of misappropriation of more than five and a half million dollars of Bell City funds. All eight were in court today. They were supposed to be arraigned. That's been postponed on until October 21st. Much of the day for defense lawyers was brought up with reducing bail. Some got their bail reduced. And some also learned that if they are convicted on all counts, they are facing decades in state prison. What was once part of the political and administrative leadership of the city of Bell are now inmates. The first court appearance was this morning. Most of it was taken up as to how all eight are going to pay to be bailed out. All eight are accused of misappropriating more than five and a half million dollars of public funds. The district attorney wants to make sure that any bail money was not illegally obtained. You can't take public money and say, you know, I'll get it back to you next week. That's a crime. At a bail hearing this afternoon, the seriousness of the charges, according to the judge, constitutes that they will not be allowed to go home on their own recognizance. What bail amount are you requesting? Your Honor, I would, I'm requesting a $100,000 bail or any other amount that is reasonable to, to give the court confidence that Mr. Rizzo will appear. But a small victory for some. Robert Rizzo, the city manager who, according to the DA, referred to him as the czar of this whole plot, bail reduced from $3.2 million to $2 million. His former assistant city manager, Angela Spasia, her bail reduced from $377,500 to $350,000. The district attorney has no evidence, and there is no evidence, that Ms. Spasia did any favors or... Uh, engaged in improper conduct or, or, or used, you know, political power. She didn't have any. Part of the audience today was made up of citizens of Bell angry over the actions of their city council. We are not satisfied with the council actions. We're satisfied with the DA's actions of today. We as residents have a long way to go to get justice. And according to the DA's office, if Robert Rizzo is convicted on all 53 counts, he is looking at possibly spending 58 years in state prison. For the current mayor of Bell, Oscar Hernandez, if convicted on all counts, he faces up to 29 years in prison. For current city council members, Teresa Jacobo and George Mirabal, if convicted on all counts, they face up to 25 years in state prison. All eight defendants are due back in court October 21st. Reporting live from downtown Los Angeles, Sid Garcia, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Sid. As the eight current and former Bell City officials appeared before a judge, a state audit was released detailing the gross mismanagement of tens of millions of dollars in city funds. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell is live in the city of Bell with more on what the audit found. Amy? Michelle, officials say the city of Bell had virtually no accounting controls. Auditors have already found a lot of evidence of mismanagement, and they expect to find much more. The state controller's audit details numerous instances of abuse, waste, and fraud in the city of Bell. According to the report, Bell's purse strings were controlled by one man, former chief administrative officer Robert Rizzo. The controller says he used city money like a petty cash drawer. In essence, uh, he was operating the system. He was running the fiefdom. Chung says Rizzo had complete control over how city funds were used, with no oversight by members of the Bell City Council. Okay. Just for instance, uh, Mr. Rizzo's salary, which increased from 73000 to $787,000 over that 17-year period, there were supposed to be performance measures and performance evaluations. In our audit, we didn't see that taking place. So how can you justify that type of salary? In addition, more than $93,000 in city funds was improperly used to repay Rizzo's personal loans. And Rizzo also handed out about $1.5 million in personal loans to Bell's well-paid council members and other city officials. And three separate taxes were raised inappropriately, costing Bell residents and business owners around $5 million. They need to put them in jail because they rob a lot of money from us. And I live here for almost 30 years, and uh, that's uh, not fair what they do. We should have had supervision over that to begin with, especially on these little towns, you know, and uh, I guess this will be a lesson for the state of California. They deserve everything, you know. Whatever they give them, they deserve it.
Bell's interim administrator said in a statement that the report details actions that are reprehensible beyond words, and the audit is an invaluable tool in our crusade to correct the many wrongs from the past, bring clarity and justice to residents of Bell, and continue establishing reform so this never happens again. And back here live, the state controller says two more audits will be completed over the next few weeks. One will look at the use of state and federal funds. Reporting live from Bell, Amy Powell, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Amy, thank you, and stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of the Bell salary scandal. You'll also find updates on ABC7.com.